Watu wangu ni Aze, the Kenyan American home up with Mazena. Welcome to my YouTube channel Maze another day another dollar. Another day another dollar Maze. Eh, if you're new here na hii ni mara yako ya kwanza. Karibu sana. Karibu sana kwa hii channel yangu Maze na kwa hii channel yangu tunakuchanuanga about opportunities zinaweza kukuleta hapa majuu. Ukifika hapa majuu mtu wangu opportunities zitakusaidia ku succeed. Na jaribu kuambia mtu wangu pale kuna shimo sikanyage, pale vo kuna pale usiende mtu wangu pale ni sawa hapa sio sawa najaribu kukuchanua maze kutoka kutoka nyumbani e, na opportunities maze job opportunities vile unaweza kuja hapa vile utajaza ma, ma embassy mtu wangu vile unajibu maswali whatever you need na kuna ka series nimekuwa nikifanya mazina nimekuwa nikiendelea na nina focus sana na wale wase hawajasoma sana e, wale watu maze wamemaliza high school alafu hawakuenda father ama kama hujamaliza high school mtu wangu kuna kuna wale watu pia hata hiyo high school hawakuingiaga eh hey, na ndio maana tumekuwa tukiangalia hizi opportunities opportunities za Canada maze nikakuanzia na na part 1 part 1 nikafoka sana na na, na electricians eh hey, na tukaongelelea maze about uh, part 1 ni lay, lay down foundation mzuri sana about kukuja Canada Eh hey, na unakuja kishule unakuja so unakuja na study permit unakuja na study permit alafu ile study permit uh, ukimaliza zile kole nilikuwa na, 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 na kuambia eh hey, inakuwa inapatia work permit so ukisoma mwaka moja unapata work permit ya mwaka moja ukisoma miaka mbili unapata work permit ya miaka mbili by hiyo time mtu wangu utakuwa umemaliza hivyo uko na shule ya, uko na masomo ya Canada uko na uko na experience ya Canada Ah, after hapo ni apply nini permanent residency mtu wangu after permanent residency si hivyo mtu wangu umeenda hivyo na umeomoka na na ume, umeenda fit part 2 nika lay down maze uh, story ya ya kukuja ukitaka ukitaka kama we ni uko interested na na maupishi upishi so kama we ni chef ama baker na nika lay down hizo hizo ma opportunities mtu wangu tuka go through ma zile ma jobs ziko available na kazi ni mingi sana E part 3 hey, e part 3 so kama ujaona hizo video mbili mtu wangu kuna vitu kuna vitu kuna ma foundation nimeenda niki lay down hey, so ukiona hii video unaona part 3 and one anzia part 1 and anzia part 1 uone vizuri itakusaidia sana juu yako ka foundation katakusaidia kuelewa ile kitu tunaongelelea na leo leo nina focus na watu wa heavy machinery He, at he, heavy artillery wale watu wa kuendesha mashini kubwa kubwa ma tractor ma nini he, heavy equipment operators mtu wangu wacha niseme kitu about e uh, e profession e profession ina pesa ina pesa na ni inaweza kuwa by the way haina pesa mtaa lakini e profession ina pesa hapa North America North America nasema North America ni Canada US Mexico iko hapo pia lakini kuna job kibao sana za heavy equipment. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu heavy equipment operator unaanza kuguzilia stories za construction. So unaweza unaweza kuwa hapa mtu, mtu wa heavy equipment uingililie construction. Unaweza kuwa mtu wa heavy equipment mtu wangu uingililie agriculture. Wewe ukikuwa heavy equipment operator mtu wangu kazi hauwezi kosa. Hey, na kama hata si construction na nini? kuna mabiashara unaona kama hizi hizi makampuni kubwa kubwa mtu wangu kama 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 unachukua kampuni kama Amazon iko na distribution kubwa na wanataka ga watu wa Quran hizo manini wao hizi ma distribution centers makampuni kubwa kubwa zina zina deal na na bulk stuff zile vitu za kutembe za kutembeza ma forklift ma excavator ma tractor ma nini mtu wangu e profession hivi iko hivi mtu wangu So kama wewe uko mtaa na uko na hiyo experience ah ina kusaidia sana. Badala ukuja hapo ule alikuwa street badala ukuja hapa siju ukuje ukuja hapo ingia visitor visa. Ni sawa by the way unajua do... the other thing naweza kuambia. Kanzia tumekaa mku nimekuwa nime nikiwaambia ni unaweza kuja hapa visitor alafu kutoka visitor u change ingia student. Hey. So badala ya kwenda unaweza sangine kutafuta hizi kazi za LMA ina kwa shida. Ina kwa shida na itakuwa easier a little bit easier ku change kutoka kutoka visitor visa mpaka student then sengine it is ku apply directly kukuja kama student so kama tayari uko hapo Canada na uko na visitor visa yako mtu wangu e ndio unajaribu kuchanua 
na as in from ini party ya tatu ini video ya tatu na video zangu ni detailed mtu wangu na kupatia dit na kupatia scholarship ziko available nini hizi mashule na kuwa na kupatia options mtu wangu options za different provinces hapo Canada Buda eh hata before tuendelee mtu wangu piga like piga like kwa sababu piga like mtu wangu ndo support content mzuri juu ini content ini content ya yeah, very very important content mtu wangu itakujenga for life kwa sababu hautaka hautakaga tu unajua ukikuwa by the way kuna kuna ka disadvantage kako kuja tu ki visitor alafu unapata tu kazi ya kuosha sijui dishwasher sijui nini eh kaza kunini hizi story za kuosha diabs hizo saa nyingine unajua ni sawa okay sawa utapata kazi ziko na elema eh na ni nini uanze kufanya kazi lakini unapata unalipwa minimum pesa kidogo sana ni sawa Unalipa pesa kidogo sana na host wana mtu eh alafu sasa before utoke hapo mtu wangu ita juu kuna mahali pia itafika uongeze masomo ndio ulipwe pesa mzuri saingine kuna watu wanakuaga very lucky unakaa mnaingia hivi kijob na nini yako inatokea ina, 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 ina hivyo na una unaomoka bila kurudi shule but most of the people lazima urudi shule usomeka kitu usomeka certificate usomeka diploma usomeka degree ndio mtu wangu uincrease to increase your ways of making money so heavy equipment operator mimi nimekwambia by the way e iko sawa nimepatia thumbs up mbili kwa nini kwa sababu zile jobs ziko kwa hii e industry ni mingi uwezi maliza mtu wangu yani construction zitafanyikaga every time every time uru ukienda hapa hivi tembea anywhere US Canada wanatengeneza ngama barabara kila time Manyumba zinajengwa kila time. Unacheki kama Canada ina grow by the day. So that means construction nini ziko available mtu wangu. So na hii ni story ya unaweza kama ushikilie usome hapa aka ka diploma, ukishasoma ka diploma madhe unaenda hivyo mtu wangu. To some point ufike ikuelevo yako unasikia umenunua nini ya ma, ma equipment zako umefungua kampuni yako. Umekuwa mwana biashara, business owner na sasa ukifika hapo hiyo level wewe umeomoka. Eh, hey. lakini in the meantime, hizi ni kazi mtu wangu na unalipwa fiti. Unalipwa fiti, hizi kazi ni mingi, hakuna watu wengi wanajua cooperate ma heavy equipment mtu wangu. Wengi hapa agriculture, agriculture is one of the biggest things. Agriculture is so big in Canada. Kubwa sana. Bodo mimi nakwambia hii ni kitu hauwezi kosa kazi. Kwa sababu mashamba unasikiaga huku ndio mtu uitwe uitu wa farmer lazima kuwa na 3000 acres and above ndio uku unajiita farmer na sasa unaweza sasa 3000 acres mtu wangu hawezi chukua jembe 3000 acres iko na iko mtu wangu iko na tila iko na planter iko na sida iko na hizo ni equipment kubwa ma tractor manini buda pesa iko hapa iko ya kutengenezwa pesa iko hapa ya kutengenezwa so nilikuwa nataka ni kushow hivi Niko excited juu ya heavy equipment operator juu ninajua najua hii story alafu maze ukianza kuangalia zile mashini unaendesha mtu wangu ni mashini za pesa mashini za pesa so that means wale watu wanakuandika wako na pesa pesa iko pesa iko hii do iko kwa nini na kama uko hapo hivyo mtu wangu unachanganyikiwa uanze wapi anza hapa anza hapa ukiwa na zero experience ama umekuja na experience sana anza hapa mtu wangu hapo uwezi you can never go wrong na kujua cooperate heavy equipment mtu wangu hauwezi hauwezi so kama kawaida mtu wangu ndakupeleka nakushow na, na mashule zile mashule zina ofa zina ofa hii nini so unaweza ingia unaweza unaweza apply kutoka mtaa kama uko mtaa saa hii unaweza apply directly student visa student permit eh hey. ama kama uko tayari kama tayari uko uko Canada ki, na visitor visa unaweza pia apply uchange 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 status yako kutoka kutoka visitor mpaka student hii na kwa the easiest way by the way kubadilisha visitor visa yako na na ile kitu utaona kwa hizi nini mazee hizi 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 ma diploma na ma certificate za kazi za mkono si expect kama kukwenda kole kama kwenda kole alafu kitu kingine pia mzuri mtu wangu ukiwa na study permit utachapa kazi uta utachapa kazi kazi itakusaidia kulipa shule alafu pia kuna ma scholarship mazezi kwa available so angalia ma scholarship sangine una apply ma scholarship kibao yao nilipa tuition yako yote ni kujituma jua mazee unajua watu wengi sana ma Canadians wengi wanachukua student loan 
Eh wanachukuanga na, na funding ya gava. Hawanaga either atukue grants za gava ama nini ama ama apply student loan. Hawataka gi story za juu hapa kwa apply scholarship lazima uandike kithesis kwa nini unataka wakupatie unaandikia ki kipepa kithi kithesis hapo hivyo kwa nini unataka kupewa hii scholarship. Lakini we maze wewe unajua hii una una put in the work unaandika ki scholarship mtu wangu na wapatia ki story hapo historia hapo hivyo mazea eh vile ume grow kwa shida na nini vile wewe una wana wakisoma pepa yako mtu wangu analia unapewa scholarship nivo scholarship nivo maze so scholarship ziko kibao zingine hata zichukui hiyo effort yote zingine tu ni yani juu watu ma scholarship ni zingine wanapata gamsi amepasa anasema ah patia scholarship ya watu wako na mash- wale ma student wako na shida wale ma student international nini so ziko hizo ziko sawa tuanze Eh hey, tumekotikianza sana na na, na Ontario. Ontario ndio Toronto iko Ontario. To, hey, uh, lakini leo wacha tuanze Alberta. Tuanze Alberta. Alberta Alberta kwanza ni mzuri sana ikikuja sana stories za agriculture. Tuanze Alberta wazi tuanze shule. Hey, shule inaitwa Knight Northern Alberta Institute of Technology. Hey, Northern Alberta. Night Northern Alberta Institute of Technology mtu wangu ndio hii shule eh hey. so alafu hii shule iko hii shule iko iko nini gani hii shule iko iko Edmonton iko Edmonton Canada iko Edmonton Canada kama kawaida mtu wangu niliwaambiaga ukitaka kujua shule yako ndio upate ndio uweze kupata visa make sure umekuja hapa kwa kwa hii DLI Yeah. designated nini learning institutes umeangalia uone kama iko listed hapo hivyo iko listed hapo juu utahitaji hii ndio apply visa alafu pia hapa ndio utachikikuwa na kama uh, iko nini iko available kukupatia work permit inaitwa post graduation work permit pgwp so uh, tunata, tunatukua alberta alafu shule na jita night abbreviation Utunaipata hapo hivyo. Northern Alberta Institute of Technology. Eh. Ndio hii main campus. Iko hapa na unaona iko yes. So yes inasema ina offer eligible post graduation work permit. Eh. so that means ukimaliza kusoma kama wani ya unapata unapata work permit ya wani ya alafu after hapo si uta na apply una, una nini after hapo sasa alafu pia maka uh, by the time uko na uko na education ya Canada umenini uko na education ya Canada umeenda shule ya Canada hiyo inakufeva sana inakufeva sana so hapa hivi ile course wana offer na links kama kawaida mtu wangu ndakuwekea links na kuwekea kwa hapo hivyo kwa description na video so ukiingia hapo uta, utapata industrial heavy equipment technology in diploma na diploma tulisema ni 2 years diploma nilisema ni 2 years hapa hivi unaona uh, wanakufundisha wana, kuna ka video hapo sitaki nipeleka video tena lakini hapo wanakwambia hii ni program na kufundisha ku diagnose na ku repair heavy uh, ku repair machinery in the heavy equipment industry na unafundishwa mpaka ku repair uko we ni one stop shop mtu wangu eh hey, una, una one e program ina focus na highway na off highway mobile equipment uh, na zile zinatumika kwa in, eh hey, ndio hizi kwanza hata 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 nikuninie mtu wangu sasa tu hii hi, sasa imekuambia kuna industry mingi sana kuna industry ya mining inatumia heavy equipment kuna industry ya login kukata ma miti eh hey, ma miti manini ma ma hizi ma, ma, ma timba ma log ndio hii logging tracking eh hey, tracking pia ni heavy equipment Alafu agriculture into the biggest one uh, gas processing oil field mtu wangu na construction na construct oil field kwanza pesa iko hapa oil field na mining wacha mchezo wacha mchezo mtu wangu yes ndio akwambia hizo industry hizo hizo ndio hizo industry tumenini so anakwambia kama unataka ku apply uh, kuna na nini person so lazima uingie hapo hivyo na iko iko available kwa international iko available kwa international students. Eh hey, so unaweza apply September, January next year ama September. So wako na intake zao ni za September na January. September na January. 
kujapa hivi requirements kama kawaida uh, wanakuambia requirement ni uh, high school wanataka hapa hivi high school requirement alafu IELTS proof of english proficiency IELTS hapa hivi eh uh, alafu ndo wanakuambia hapa hivi uh, nini uh, ma application application international wanafungua oktoba tarehe moja deadline september 1 september uh, october oh dates and uh, sijua menini hapo uh, i'll update is dates i'll update is dates ambia what you will learn hapo hizo ni vitu uta learn nini put hizo ma details zote atuko hapa for hiyo international applicant mtu wangu unaona una, una admission into two year two year credit program you may qualify so una una hii program ni two years ni two years juni diploma diploma alafu graduates of this program may qualify for a post graduate work permit sawa sawa eh so uh, so ukimaliza hapa two years utapata nini utapata utapata nini nyingine ya, ya kufanya kazi kazi kama two years by hiyo time ushapata nini usha qualify ku apply ku apply nini uh, permanent residency kumbia job opportunities uh, industries uh, eh, wacha sijuka wacha nini nini hapa hivi so uh, so akikuja hapa job opportunities unaona automotive technician apprentice heavy equipment technician mill right apprentice industries ni easy uh, large firms sales purchasing uh, median salary kuna diploma unalipwa 56000 indio median so kuna wengine wanalipwa more wengine wanalipwa wanalipwa nini uh, kidogo employment rates Uh, uh, kuna hiyo report una nini na unaweza ingia nini unaweza unaweza kutoka hapa hivi unaweza ingia apprentice apprentice ni ni una nini na mse unaona ah uh, ukimaliza ukima, uki graduate unaweza unaweza apply for apprentice apprentice ni ni nini inakuchukua kampuni moja inakuchukua ina <coughs> excuse me ina inakufundisha kazi inakufundisha kazi kama apprentice hii na kuaga poa sana. Na kuaga poa sana hiyo uh, kuingia apprentice program especially kwa trades. E, tuition tuition uh, tuition wanasema hapa hivi wacha nikushow wacha nikushow hapa hivi. Tuition wana quote hapa hivi hizo miaka mbili. Uh, living plus shule total inakuja 35 35,000. 35,000 to kikon uh, wo well, uh, so 35 600 35 600 ni kama 3.2 m Kenya shillings hiyo isikujalishe juu una opportunity ya kufanya kazi alafu pia the other thing uko na opportunity ya ya ma scholarship bana uko na opportunity ya scholarship unakuja hapa kama unaona kama hapa hivi kuna scholarship na awards eh yeah. so hizi scholarship ziko available ziko available kwa kwa ku apply. Kuna scholarship ziko available. So unaona unaweza unaweza piga ma scholarship mtu wangu ikusaidie kulipa lipa ikusaidie kulipa lipa nini? E, na hizi ma scholarship unaweza nipa hiyo, pa hiyo. So unachukua unachukua kadhaa zinakulipia, zinakulipia nini? Ingine una unachapa wera utakuwa sawa. Ai watu wengi by the way kama ujui story ya Uh, ya yeah, hapa hivi North America watu wengi ufanya kitu kinaitwa work study so unafanya kazi una unasoma unafanya kazi unasoma so na itakusaidia kulipa watu wengi ufanya hivyo inasaidia kulipa shule inasaidia kulipa shule eh so hiyo maze ni hiyo shule iko Edmonton iko Edmonton maze iko Edmonton Alberta province ya Alberta ndio hiyo hapo hivyo Ah uh, ingine maze kuna mashule mingi zinakuaga kuna mashule mingi zinakuaga nini zinako Ontario obviously kuna mashule kibao kuna mashule kibao sana 
lakini ile nimekuja hapa hivi kuaninia ni hii ya hapa ikole ikole inaitwa Northern College inaitwa Northern College maze inaitwa Northern College na ah uh, na hii ni il program ya one year iko ndani ya Timmins Ontario ah uh, semester ni mbili so mwaka moja mwaka moja mwaka moja alafu so ya yeah, unasomea heavy equipment techniques heavy equipment techniques ini ini certificate sky lingine ile nyingine ya huko nini ilikuwa ilikuwa nini ilikuwa 2 years ilikuwa 2 years maze alafu fees ukikuja hapo angalia view fees ndio hiyo anakuambia hapa hivi uh, obviously domestic wanalipisha ngo ukiwa we ni mwenyeji unalipa kidogo so total fees ya, dom- ya domestic ni 36 ya, ya international student ni 15.8 15800 uh, 15800 sio pesa mingi lakini ni pesa mingi sahi mtu akwambie ulipe but ukikuja hapa mayolo e, ukija hapa mayolo si pesa mingi ya yeah, iso hii ni cheaper than ile hii ni obviously ni mwaka moja so itakuwa cheaper ile nyingine ilikuwa 35 ilikuwa 35 so hii hapa hivi 1.6 1.7 million 1.6 1.7 million na ndio hiyo tuition ni nini kawaida maze ah jaribu kuona requirements wanaangalia hapa hivi nini high school high school alafu english proficiency hiyo ielts ielts ama pia kuna unaweza tumia toefl unaweza tumia toefl eh yeah, man hapo anakuambia hizo ndo nini so hii iko iko timins timins iko iko nini iko ontario 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 aya twende kwa college nyingine maze so tutoke ontario tuingie southern alberta institute of technology so tumerudi alberta tena alberta e, site ni shule kubwa site ni shule kubwa southern alberta institute of technology eh hapa hivi course wanafundisha inaitwa inaitwa equipment technology ni heavy equipment technology eh na ni program mpya sana by the way hii ni program mpya unaona hii ndio imeunveiliwa it's a new program it's a new program equipment te- technology ngoza hii hii website yao inakuaga na nini eh hiyo website yao lakini inaitwa 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 nini transport and heavy transport and heavy equipment technology eh inachukua inachukua international students ma intake uh, nini september imefungwa lakini january january kuna izaingizwa kwa wait list ini ini shule kubwa ini shule kubwa sana maze admission requirement in the same same two thing eh, high school ama high school na IELTS high school na IELTS eh alafu ma course alafu ndio hiyo nini ndio hiyo fees 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 hapa hivi so hii ni diploma hii ni diploma ya miaka mbili so international students inalipa 20 na 20 hii inakuja karibu 41 41 41 tao 41 tao Canadian dollars 21000 na kuja 4.4.3 4.3m 4.3m eh ina kapesa mingi lakini kama kawaida nimekuambia watu wengi hapa hivi wakisoma hivyo ndio inakuaga kawaida watu wakisoma inakuaga unafanya kazi unajilipia alafu pia mtu wangu na nini ma scholarship usisahau ku apply usisahau ku apply ma scholarship aya eh kutoka huko tuingie tuingie ni nyingine ya Nova Scotia. Tuingie province nyingine ya Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Hii shule iko Halifax, Nova Scotia. So ah uh, inaitwa Nova Scotia Community College. Nova Scotia Community College. Course inaitwa Heavy Equipment Operator. The cost of living Nova Scotia si high kama kama nini? Si high kama kama British Columbia ama Uh, si hai kama British Columbia ama nini 
ama Ontario Ontario hii nini wanasema start date ni August uh, length ni 15 weeks in certificate e certificate wapati over via program uh, over via program location go kuna pro- program yao ni August so uki apply sasa hivi utaikoa wait list so pengine next year high school angalia tu nini mmaliza high school hawa eh, na na nini na na IELTS English yo yo English English proficiency tuition iko chips hiyo iko chips sana hii ni 11000 11600 compared to so 11600 ni pesa ngapi kwa mwaka mmoja 11690 hiyo ni kama 1.2m 1.2m so shule zina kuanga mingi by the way so una 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 utapiga nini yako mimi nakupatia tu ma options za za different places ndio unaingia una nini una cheki cheki unaingia una nini unaingia una cheki ah wacha 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 ni wa ni nini nyingine moja hapa hivi wacha tu share nyingine moja hapa ta shule program inaitwa motive power technician heavy equipment motive power technician heavy equipment eh hii shule ni inaitwa centennial centennial college centennial college centennial iko ontario i believe centennial iko ontario i believe mm ngoja jaribu kuangalia eh alafu unaona hapo ameandika hapo ameandika optional co-op optional co-op ni kama ki internship so ukitaka internship unaweza unaweza toka hapo ingie ingie internship unaweza toka hapo ingie internship uh, shule iko wapi mm. ngoja kwa Toronto Scarboro Scarboro iko Scarboro uh, actually tunaweza tunaweza kuja hata tuingie hapa kwa nini tuitafute Kwambia hii nini ya kutafutanga nini uh, kutafutanga shule so unaweka hapo DLI uh, alafu inakuletea e, iko Toronto hii ni ya shule ya Toronto watu wanataka kwenda Toronto So turudi kwa turudi kwa chule. Uh, hii ni miaka 2 semester 4. Miaka 2 semester 4. Ah uh, September wamefunga so angalia angalia next nini. Angalia next 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 September. Next September watakuwa me nini? but uh, your program overview ile kitu wanakunini wanakwambia co-op option unaweza 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 pata opportunity ya yeah? uh, unasema program co-op will provide the opportunity to gain experience while you work uh, one term as a paid employee in the field so unapata kuna option ya kufanya nini uh, inaitwaje internship inalipa ni co-op ndio hiyo anaita co-op co-op Eh yeah. alafu admission requirement ni kama kawaida kama kawaida maze high school na na english alafu tuition tuition international student total 18000 so si si expect vile si expect vile eh yeah, maze na hizo ndio hizo ndio my example za mashule unaweza apply hizo mashule mtu wangu heavy equipment nilikwambia unaweza kuna nini hizo yeah so tumeona na izingia oil field unaweza ingia mining unaweza ingia logging eh unaweza ingia kwa ma trucks unaweza ingia agriculture construction opportunities ziko mingi sana opportunities ziko mingi sana on that note wateni ni wapeleke nini hapa nisiwakalishe sana eh ni wapeleke kwa ma jobs tuangalie tuangalie ma jobs kadhaa mazee vile zinaninika vile zinalipa 
So chiki hapa ma jobs hapa hivi nini? Makazi ni mingi mazee za heavy equipment. Heavy equipment. Eh unaona hapa hivyo London Ontario heavy equipment operator unalipo 29 hourly, Mississauga 27, heavy equipment mechanic hapa analipo 25 to 35. Yeah. Service heavy equipment Blue Seal 21. Construction hapo wanalipa 35 56. Construction wanalipa gapoa. Wanalipa gapoa especially heavy equipment. Eh yeah. na hapo hapo wakupati mamshahara eh yeah. trucking diesel mechanic heavy equipment 35 an hour hapo ni kuni kusavisa kanini kadogo hapo hivyo uh, equipment north eh chiki hapo hivi heavy equipment mtu wangu nilipa between 35 to 50 dollars an hour pesa mzuri pesa mzuri si pesa mbaya <laughs> si pesa mbaya mtu wangu ma builders construction sana iko na do construction iko na do bana construction iko na do excavating and construction 32 heavy equipment operator so makazi ni mingi mtu wangu na uweze maliza makazi ndio hizo mingi limen heavy equipment operator 44 an hour no oh, kulipa mzuri ontario thornhill ontario eh yeah. so sini ni mbaya eh hey, abacrombi pipeline hii sasa hii sasa story ya oil field Unaona Wellfield mtu wangu British Columbia 5686 an hour lakini nayo cost of living ya British Columbia iko high cost of living ya British Columbia iko juu but mmeziona mzee mmeziona kazi na inalipa mzuri hiyo ni pesa inalipa pesa mzuri mtu wangu inalipa pesa mzuri hiyo utakuwa utakuwa fit utakuwa set mtu wangu utakuwa set utakuwa set utakuwa set bana na mseme amjatanuliwa nimewachanua mzee eh hey, before utoke kwa hii video mzee at sai make sure mzee piga like piga like share video na video inaweza saidia mtu kama kuna mtu unajua hapo mtaa ana deal na heavy equipment mtu wangu na alimaliza form 4 na nini mwambie mwambie bana kuna opportunity anaweza kuja kusoma na hapa nakwambia mtu wangu unasoma unafanya kazi unalipa school fees unaingia tulikuwa hapo unaingia na unapewa work permit unachapa kazi yako full time wewe unapata ka pesa kako mtu wangu na file permanent residency hapo mtu wangu una escape una escape nini poverty una escape poverty eh yeah. na hizi ni njia mtu wangu umeenda ukasoma Canada so so wewe unakuwa uko seti unakuwa uko seti sana uko fit uko fit maze eh yeah. wewe ndi kunganga na watu wa tafuta makazi za LMA nini wewe unaenda pale mtu wangu ukithrupas kama hizi stories za tracking unafanya tracking hapo hivyo kini ni heavy equipment operator mtu wa nguvu mtu wangu e, kama kuna mtu atafanya hii story by then eh ukuja hapa wale watu by the way mtakuja hapa hii video yangu itakusaidia ukamu umoke na hii story mtu wangu kama nikupigia interview uambie watu kweli ya hii story uambie watu kweli ya hii story kazi ni mingi ndio kazi ni mingi lakini hii hii kitu iko sawa hii kitu iko sawa hii ni ile unachapaka kazi yako poa una retire mzuri e, na retire mzuri mtu wangu uko fiti pesa yako eh hey, bana we uko we una ni ile ni ile story maze una unafutwa una kazi uki kazi kisha leo saa moja by saa saba umepata kazi nyingine heavy equipment operator i don't think you can ever go wrong na kukuwa na skill kai hiyo kukuwa na skill kai hiyo juu iko iko very operational iko ina apply kwa industries mingi sana industries mingi sana maze wadau si nivo eh so kama uja subscribe maze usitoke bila kusubscribe subscribe finya notification bell alafu utakuwa notified every time ina upload video eh ile kitu kingine nilikuwa hiyo video bado ina come i think nitafanya hizi nini kadha kadha na nifanye niguzie watu watu wasema oh kama kuna yenye unataka nifanye eh piga hapo kwa comment section kama unaona hii hapa hivi na unataka eh hey, wewe unataka nifanye saloon sio unataka nifanye nini piga hii maze nitachagua nitachagua kadhaa nifanye hizo kadhaa alafu tufunge ka section tushafunga hapo ka section ndio niwafanyie story ya kuapply visa student permit study permit ya Canada visa niwapigie 
application pro process line by line by line kama kawaida line by line kama kawaida maze. but eh hey, so yeah usi, share share in, share information mtu wangu mimi nimekupata information bure share na mtu eh hey, maze. mnani appreciate ki maze mspo forward ma, ma ads baze ukiona ads mina mipi hapo hapo pia mimi ndio naninia ukiguzangwa maze usiki unataka kugiftu mseka kitu inakuwa open unaweza E, kuna, kuna 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 nini kibao sana unaweza ukiona yeye umse anafanya kazi poa wacha nimninie nimpige motisha ni sawa maze siezi kata ndio mimi mimi sikuitishi kitu nakwambia unaweza kuja hapo ukunywa na ukule bure lakini ukisikia umeguzwa ni sawa ovit na kuanga poa by the way ukiona ga mtu e umse ana to bless una bless pia hapo ndio ma, ma anointing zinatokaga e, otherwise maze lakini man share video maze ni achie like ni achie comment man ikiku nice piga thumbs up maze piga thumbs up na tuendelee ama ni aje until next time maze e, na mniachie niachie ni comments za ile kitu mnataka nifanye next by the way e, ile professional mnataka nifanye next si atutakaa hapa sana tu e, tunaweza ka i think umeshikanisha by video ya tatu mtu ameshikanisha ukitaka ka kitu naweza enda utafute kwa hizo shule upate ile kitu na nini so nipatieni ma ndafanya na manini kadhaa before tufunge hii segment tuingie kwa hiyo kitu kingine tuingie kwa hiyo kitu kingine ama ni aje watu wangu sinivo eh na kamenyuria eh fitiman fitiman fitiman